thank you so much for speaking to me. Yeah, of course. Um, this show is incredible. And so what I wanted to know is, you know, how did Care Love shape the development and the trajectory of Young Love? Yeah, you know, Young Love is basically a continuation of Hair Love. You know, it takes place about two months after the events in the short film. You know, Angela, obviously, um, being uh, released from the hospital and recovering. And um, yeah, you know, like we obviously we wanted the show to be way more about just hair and, you know, doing hair. So, you know, there are definitely like kind of nods and different little Easter eggs in there and all the different hairstyles that we feature. But, you know, we really wanted the show to focus on a young millennial couple who hasn't really achieved their dreams yet you know they're trying to figure out where they fit in life and their career and, and and within their family but they also have a young daughter that they want to be present for and so that really was just kind of the basis for the show you know a lot of the stuff in the short made its way into the series and we just expanded upon it now can you talk about the decision to not make this exclusively for children i was like oh there was some jokes that you know in moments where like this is not you know, for the, the the young kids at first. Yeah, I mean, it's really a family show, you know, like we, mm -hmm. we try to really hit a tone that both parents and kids can enjoy and kind of watch together. You know, like a lot of times kids these days, man, like, you know, you have a hard time trying to feed them stuff that is just specifically made for the age range, right? A lot of kids like watching mm -hmm. things that are a little, a little bit more mature than wh wh what their, where their age is. And we just really wanted to lean into that. You know, we, we know that Zuri, when we're in Zuri in her world, like we want a lot of the situation and the experiences that she was going through to be things that were relatable to adults, like, you know, things that we all can remember dealing with growing up um, and also experiences that were kind of like more adult like situations, but kind of retrofitted into kid things. And, you know, when we're with the adults, we want to just embrace being with the adults. Like we're in the music industry. Let's, let's deal with that. We're in the hair salon. Let's embrace that, you know, but we really we never wanted to be raunchy or anything like that, you know, really was all just about like servicing the family and something that hopefully the entire family could watch together. Yes. And also with that, I, what I love is there are many things in each episode and it encompasses the entire series. Can you talk about what inspired certain kind of uh, themes? I know we have to deal with race. We deal with outside a little bit of politics. We also deal with kind of the interworkings of the music industry yep. as well. Yeah, you know, I mean, with animation, like you only have, <laughs> you can't be like super topical, right? And talk about the mm -hmm. things that are popping on Twitter because, you know, it takes two, three years to make. And so we just really try to deal with topics that we knew were going to still be here three years later, right? So we know that gentrification ain't going nowhere. We know that um, appropriation isn't going anywhere. We know that, you know, houselessness and homelessness isn't going anywhere. So, you know, obviously people recovering from illnesses and trying to get back on their feet, you know, the music industry, uh, young kids just like dealing with um, feeling like they're being taken advantage of in school, just all these different things. So it was just just trying to touch on topics that felt like they would be that, that will always be relevant and kind of forever be relevant. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, things that just made sense for our characters to try to tackle. Now, with Hair Love, uh, these characters felt very lived in, even though there wasn't any dialogue. Was yep. that in that moment how you knew that you wanted this to be either a series or a movie or something much larger than just that short? Yeah, I mean, really, since the Kickstarter campaign and we got the artwork back from Vashti Harrison, we were like, yo, this art is so dope. Like, it could be a picture book. You know, it could be a, a, maybe a TV series eventually. Like, we kind of knew from day one that it had that potential. But like, you know, having an idea and actually doing it, just two different things, right? And I think as, you know, Hair Love continued to get into the world, the book, you know, shipping almost 3 million copies at this point, you know, the, the series, I mean, the short film being viewed almost 100 million times on YouTube, like, we just knew that people love these characters and wanted to see more of them. And so it just made sense, like, that a TV show was kind of the na natural next step. And yeah, it's been three years in the works and almost here. And also, you're from Chicago. This takes place in Chicago. Yep. Can you talk about kind of the influences of Chicago, uh, both in the show and you as the director of implementing in this? Yeah, you know, like Chicago just is very like, a, 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 just a, it's a city that just really represents just like those strong Midwestern values. You know, people work hard, people play hard, people try to have fun. You know what I mean? Like Chicago also kind of gets a bad rap in mainstream media. You know, everybody always wants to talk about, you know, the gun violence and things and 
all these other things. But, you know, it's not any different than any other major city. You know what I mean? I think it just gets a little bit more of a spotlight on it just because, um, you know, it's like a it's a state that has strict gun laws, but all the states around it don't. And so, you know, it's kind of easy to get things through the borders or whatever. So but, you know, Chicago is really dope and important because like we really just want to represent those hard working class people, you know, the people that don't have all the resources, the people that don't have a ton of money, but the people that have like really big dreams and big goals and they're trying to make it, you know, that's really what shaped me growing up. And that's really uh, what we want to try to get into the show too. Wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking to me. I absolutely love this series. So oh, no, that's so cool. I love that. I love that you dug it. Thank you so much. Oh, no worries. I appreciate you. Thanks, Tina.